So you just got a telephoto lens. Now it's time to explore an entirely new world of photographic possibilities. But first, let's cover some of the basics for shooting with the telephoto lens. And this thing's getting kind of heavy, so let's go ahead and mount it on a tripod. Most telephoto lenses come with a mounting option on them so that you can properly balance them onto a tripod mounting plate. To do this, find the center of gravity between the camera and lens, and you can move the lens forward or backwards so that it doesn't tilt in either direction. Using a tripod with a telephoto lens is a great idea because keeping the image steady at such great focal lengths is really difficult. Now let's cover some features that are commonly found on telephoto lenses, but do keep in mind these will vary based on the manufacturer. This lens has a series of switches on the back of it that allow you to toggle some of the settings in your camera. The top switch allows you to toggle on and off autofocus. Below that is the focus limiter, which limits the lens's focus to a particular range. You'll notice each range is specified above the switch. This Sony lens also has image stabilization, which can be toggled on and off and adjusted via the switch below which provides three separate stabilization modes. Number one is used for general handheld use, number two is for general handheld use with more panning movements, and number three is for handheld use with more erratic movements, such as when shooting bird photography. The barrel of this lens is also equipped with three programmable buttons that you can customize within the camera's menu. Now you can use this for hitting record, focus hold, or whatever works best for your line of photography. If the features of your lens differ from what I just mentioned, then consult with the manual of your lens so that you can better understand its full functionality. Or feel free to ask any questions down in the comments below. Let's talk about some basic exposure settings for different scenarios. When it comes to wildlife photography, shutter speed is going to be crucial as you balance both the camera shake that is prevalent in telephoto lenses and quickly moving wildlife. A common rule of thumb to avoid motion blur caused by camera shake is to match your focal length to your shutter speed. For example, if I'm shooting at 450 millimeter, then my shutter speed would be at 1 over 450 on a full frame camera. You can experiment with your aperture as that will determine the depth of field, but for beginners it may be wise to use a higher aperture so that you have more in focus. For photographing sports, like wildlife photography, shutter speed will play an integral role. Experiment with the shutter speed of 1 over 500th of a second and higher. And because you're shooting at a higher shutter speed, you may need to open your aperture or raise your ISO a bit to compensate. For photographing the moon, keep your ISO at your camera's base ISO, typically around 100. This is to avoid any unwanted noise. Your aperture should be within the range of f8 and f16 and experiment with a shutter speed of around 1 100th of a second or faster. Now moving on to some common telephoto lens accessories. A few that offer protection for your lens are these lens skins, which also have a cool camouflage design option, particularly great for wildlife photography. These lens covers help in protecting the front element in a pinch. And these rain covers will help protect both your camera and telephoto lens on those days when the weather just doesn't cooperate. The best part is you still get full access to the functions of both camera and lens. Teleconverters offer the ability to expand the focal range of your telephoto lens, offering even more versatility out in the field. Seen in these examples, a 1.4 teleconverter will effectively turn this 600mm to 840mm, and a 2x effectively to a 1200mm lens. Another fantastic accessory is an aftermarket foot replacement for the tripod mount on the telephoto lens. While this is based on your lens manufacturer and tripod mounting plate, it provides much more stability and a quicker mounting option. I hope this video better equipped you to get the most out of your telephoto lens. Have fun with it, tag us in the photos you capture with it, and if you have any questions, b h is here for you. My name is Matt, and thanks for watching.